So this is the judge's gear that was on this uh, Vulcan 1500. Um, as you can see it's pretty shredded and looks a lot like the one in the video that's titled something along the lines of how to change the oil gear without splitting the cases. And um, so that's what we were left with on this one. And I'm just going to show you a tool that I made. This was just a Harbor Freight um, needle nose pliers. Uh, but in order to go into that hole and go you know, down here to undo the spring clip, which looks exactly like that. And um, so I would recommend that you order one of those, an OEM one, to use to make your pliers so that you know that it's going to fit easily in and out and that and you get just a little bit of an outward twist on the ends so that with the spring action there it will hold it on there you don't it's not going to be helpful if it falls off and um, you really have very very little room to work with having the um, ends point in the other direction there just is not enough room to work that way and this works better uh, because you're pulling it back on to the shaft uh, of the new gear and uh, it's still it's not easy uh, but that will do it that will make it work you have to have just that tiny little bit of room if you have these any longer than that if you have you know any more room this way required there just isn't enough so but if you do that then you'll be able to take the old clip off, pull out the old shaft with the clip still on the, on the tool, slide the new shaft in with the new gear, and, and just, um, you know, pulling the clip apart, pulling it back on, uh, you can do it. The um, shaft that comes out from the, uh, from the oil pump will keep the clip and the inside washer from falling into the pan because it comes all the way out to the case so um, I have a video of the surgery um, from the internal camera the, the scope and um, so hopefully I can get these things all put together into a decent uh, a decent uh, teaching video all right well, what you're looking at here is I'm using the tool to, to uh, get into the spring clip there. I got this side on, but I can't see the other side, so I'm having a little struggle getting both, uh, both pins in the holes. But in the upper left there is the actual oil pump, and um, I'm going to try to get the other side in first and then get this side in and then the uh, I'll just pull the clip apart and pull out the old shaft right there and out it goes boom now <clears throat> theoretically if I just hold that in exactly that position I should be able to just push the new the shaft with the new gear right back in, which you should see here in a second. So I'm pushing it through, but of course the the spring clip has moved, and just enough where I have to wrestle to get the a new shaft onto it. And um, this was actually a seven-minute procedure, but I've cut out. Well, a little bit more than half of it so that uh, you don't have to be bored with the wrestling match and um, in just a bit here I will uh, find the hole and get the uh, get the new shaft in now um, 
if you were really careful and made your the ends on your tool uh, perfectly symmetrical, then you should be able to have that clip held in just the right position. But um, it's just a little bit of work to, to find the right spot. Now there, on it went, onto the shaft. Now it's just a matter of making sure that it snaps in the groove. And, and then that's it. The, you know, once you're, you know, you'll see I'm going to, to uh, do a little bit of an inspection, spin it around here. I'm going to have to push the backside down a little bit to make sure that it's uh, in the groove. And then that's it. From there, you put your clutch back on and button it up and you're good to go. New OEM gear, you don't have to worry about that problem anymore. There you go, that's it. See the, the ring is, the clip ring is now in the groove. I'm spin it around a little bit to just make sure. And that's it.